What is up, guys? I, I am Joey here, and I, I am bringing you a brand new video, and it is a first for figures video. This is the first video I've done since I had all that uh, fiasco happen. It all kicked off with first for figures. I obviously, of course, pre-ordered this before all that happened, and will not be doing that again. So, anyway, this is one of the last First for Figures reviews I will ever do. I have, after this, two more First for Figures coming, and then that will be it. If you haven't checked out, do not... Uh, if you have not checked out that video yet, do not ever purchase from First for Figures. Here is why. Um, please do go and check that out. I've got two videos uh, to do with First for Figures. One with the situation that happened to me. And then another one with a situation that happened to other people. So go and check them out, guys. Uh, if you are a fanboy of First for Figures and are going to slight me to filth, please go and check them out before you um before you hit the comment section uh, telling me to kill myself. Uh, anyway, uh, without further ado, enough of the rambling. Let's get on with uh, what this video is about. So this is the Luigi's Mansion PVC exclusive version this is the one that lights up this is number 459 even though i hit that refresh button and clicked it within about the first 30 seconds bullshit anyway uh it doesn't matter mr yang yong zaya um is the one that said this is uh qc pass so we will see about that without further ado let's crack this bad boy open of course, I'm not going to discriminate against them if, um, just because of what's happened, if this is a good statue, I will say it's a good statue. I will not say it's a bad statue just because we fell out. I will be completely fair about uh, my review. I will say it if it's good, and I will say it if it's bad, as always. So, straight away, first of all, there's a box inside a box, which is heavily disappointing, which means it's smaller than this box, which is also quite small in the first place. Uh, this PVC was more, more expensive than my previous PVCs. Um, I will put that on screen right now, how much this PVC, PVC cost, as opposed to something like Link. But this does, however, this does light up. So I will have, I will say that, of course, it's a light up PVC. So it's obviously going to be slightly more expensive. Anyway, so we've got some, actually got some shipper art, which is nice. Lovely. We've got a lovely art there of uh, Luigi and Polterpup, which is lovely. And of course, the Poltergeist 3000. Uh, it's got Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh... Uh, PVC 9 inch painted statue exclusive edition by first four figures and on this side we have a Luigi's Mansion 3 logo lovely and on the back we have exactly what you get so this is what the description of what you will get and it's got um Polter Pop and Luigi chasing Polter Pop Nint uh, this is official Nintendo product unfortunately still to this day they are the only statue company that hold official license and I do think they will be the only company for uh, some quite some time, unless they keep making cock-ups like they are doing. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's crack open this statue. Now, straight away, boom, cardboard box, protecting the top, as always, to stop you cutting the top of the box. Highly appreciated from First for Figures. Highly appreciated indeed. And of course, you have the plastic seal which is always over the uh, statues. Lovely. And here we are. Lovely. So, oh wow, this is actually, I'm actually, I'm not going to lie, this is a really nice box. So, you've got the lovely art on the front of Luigi and Polter Pop. Uh, lovely gold foiling around the edges there. Lovely gold foil all the way around the edge. On this side, we've got a Luigi's Mansion chase, uh, Luigi chasing Polterpup. On the back, back in green foil, 
which I really like. I really like the green foil. Um, we've got Luigi chasing Polter Pop, official Nintendo product, Luigi's Mansion 3, and number 459. I don't know how, of how many, I'm afraid. Um, really, it's actually a really nice box. I'm quite impressed with that. And it, uh, as per usual, slides up. It's not sealed, although obviously the box was sealed, this is not. Really, really impressed with the box, I've got to say. They, I will give them that. First and figures do always have rather nice boxes. Now, straight away, even though that has slid out, but I just popped that back in. We have uh, Luigi's, uh, we've got the exclusive edition and the signature card which doesn't have a signature on it. It's not a signature edition, I'm sorry. This is, oh yeah, no, it is the signature edition. But I don't seem to have a signature. I don't seem to have a signature on my card. I guess Alex hates me. So, um, anyway, so I don't have a signature on my card, but there are the two cards and my day one sticker, lovely jubbly. Uh, my signature edition doesn't have a signature though, which is rather disappointing. At the end of the day, I would like to say, especially if any of the people uh, watching this I have watched my previous video to do with Do Not Buy First for Figures again, um, I would like to say I'm still a paying customer. I, I still fully, as I always have done, pay full price for my statues. I'm not treated any differently, and I never have been, even though I've done these statue reviews for several years now. Um, I've never been treated any differently. I've always been treated as a customer. And even though me and Alex have had a fallout, I would still like to be treated as a customer because at the end of the day, I do still pay for his products. For, so uh, I'm not sure whether he, it is meant to have a signature on. I will research this before I put this video out and I will put it on screen as to whether it is meant to have a signature on. But anyway, that's rather nice. That lifts out quite, some, quite nicely there. So there are the signature edition card and the um, normal card with the day one sticker, lovely. And there's a lot of the Luigi Mansion statue, lovely. Still a paying customer at the end of the day and I expect to be treated as such for me paying probably now about $5,000 into that company upcoming with the, with the uh, statues I've got coming, maybe a bit less. But that's still a lot. Still a lot of money I put into that company. And I still am putting money into that company because I'm still paying off my statues because they won't let me cancel them because they're knobheads. Anyway. Lovely. So what I'll do is I'll pop the box to the side because it's a lovely box. So far, packaging. It could be a bit nicer because it's very, very dull and it's very scratched as well. Very, very scratched foil in it, which is really annoying, but um, we'll get to that in a minute. It's always wrapped in these tissue things. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I was expecting. A lot bigger than I was expecting, which I'm obviously rather happy about. So there is Luigi in his lovely, lovely, lovely pose. Beautiful. Really like that. And on the left, Got a nice big logo on the back. There must be more coming because this is number one in the line. Can't see any more coming out, but um, on that side we've got another nice Luigi's uh, Mansion logo. On the front, of course, that's what we want to see. It's the big Luigi and Polter Pop, which lights up. Lovely, lovely. I like that. Really like that. So, super impressive so far. We also have a lovely see-through holographic logo on the top of the box, which is very nice. This is very similar to the Breath of the Wild box, which I have right here to compare. So, it's slightly different shape. This box is slightly slimmer. It's uh, The Breath of the Wild one is longer. The statues, I believe, are slightly the same size, but I believe this is more plastic whereas this is thin uh more intertwined um but yeah very very similar prints they must use the same box design and print 
for most of the um for most of the designs. Um which is fine because I like the design of the Breath of the Wild box and I think it's really nice. Um and I like the fact that Alex said uh they have the collectors in mind. So if you want to keep it in the box, which I do or quite obviously, you have the light which can shine through the top. You can have the light that shines through the top and you can still see uh, inside of the box and the statue looks nice still. Whereas obviously if this was black, if this was like, you know, covered, which I can do now, and there's no light, it's not as good. You just have the front light. Whereas if it's in a, um, in a like a, a square unit like Ikea, where these, you can stick to the top because this is from Ikea as well. Uh, you remove that and the light goes straight through and you can see everything inside the box, which I like. I like that. That's a very clever idea. And I think most pe other people, uh, other collectors should use that if they're making PVCs. I think that's a very good idea. I'm going to give credit to where credit's due. The box design it is incredibly good. So the, the box design is really, really good. Really impressive. So now uh, it's sealed on the three, the three corners. So it's sealed here, sealed here and sealed here with the circle uh, sticky, sticky thing, sticker I don't know what they're called, but uh, they're, they're just, they're just, you know, the things that you'd see on like a reused game in, in game or game stuff. So just cut them straight off, very easy to cut. It's got obviously there it is the green hologram that I like. It's a, a basically identical setup to the Breath of the Wild box. Identical. Uh, easy to pull out. Absolutely piece of piss. Uh, and it's got the fact you can take this out as well, like you can on the Breath of the Wild one, to use it as a, um, a display, which I am going to use and show you in a bit. So I'm going to, at the moment, for this very second in time, get rid of the box. So we have a nice little manual uh, pamphlet thing, which um, has two things on, lovely. It has a nice art on the front and a nice art on the back. I'm assuming this is my points. It is. This is my 500 reward points. And it's telling you how to cut out the backdrop. And it's telling you uh, that the, the other Mario statues are for sale on First of Figure, which uh, do not buy the, buy the Bowser because it's absolutely fucking abysmal um the problems are endless uh as as i said check out my video on other people having problems with first for figure um if you are interested the pvcs so far for me have no problem so lovely there it is, it uh, just comes with some just traditional plastic packaging, which obviously I'm just going to put straight over to the side because I do not need them. Uh, I, I'm going to display this as I do all my statues, this isn't going to sit inside a box. Um, but there it is, absolutely gorgeous, lovely, lovely Luigi's Mansion 3 statue. Let's get into the review. Now, just by quickly examining it i cannot see any flaw whatsoever but if you really look i can i can see quite a lot if you are look if you're looking for problems i can find problems a lot of problems rather a lot of problems actually but we'll get into the review anyway and so just from because you're not going to be doing this to it whereas i obviously am you're not going to be doing that so luigi himself looks absolutely fantastic he his facial uh expression his facial features are perfect identical to the game absolutely identical um polter pop looks very cute very very cute his little face like he is on the game of course i hope that you played the game if you're buying this um or at least the second or the first one he's very cute but of course i don't think he's in the second one i think he's just in the third but it's very good the 
torch looks great uh it's exact replica the the floor it feels like material it feels risen feels bumpy like carpet obviously should there's a splodge no it's not it's a bit of dust Let's just wipe that off it's it's really good it's a really really good pvc it's actually just by looking at it i'd say more or less quickly looking at it that is without trying to point out the flaws is more or less perfect which is what we want because I, like i said i'm not going to be doing this to it constantly it's going to be on a far away shelf and as long as it looks as good as that i couldn't care less however i am a reviewer and i can see already as soon as my eye locks on i can see problems the the collar around polter pop is actually jagged so it looks like that it looks like someone's put his collar but it's got it's hard to explain but it's like not straight it's like wonky the paint on luigi's gloves has looks what looks like drops of painting that's not been correctly applied and it's dried and it's dried lumpy uh his hat has actually a dent on it i didn't notice that uh where the paint's obviously been chipped. Um, it's not terrible though. It's not. Oh, there's another dent to the left, to the right of Luigi, on his hat. It's not great. It's um, 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 if you're gonna be really picky with your statues, it is actually quite bad. But if you're just gonna look at it like I am, it's not terrible. It's not too bad. So let's should we try the light. Let's try the light. So take that out. And my light's not working. And I need a screwdriver. Fucking brilliant. I, I, it might need charging actually. Which, I, which is really fucking annoying. So. We're just going to have to quickly get the charger out. So I've quickly turned my camera light off. Uh, just so I can show you the light up version and it's actually quite nice but you can see straight away on polter pop black like splodges everywhere it's like on the top of his head in his mouth on his tail all around his collar it's awful it almost makes me want to turn it off because it looks so plasticky it looks like shit it's so bad his back and his tail are okay but around his head it almost looks furry like black and furry because his head is so poor oh i, I can I, the the uh the poltergeist it's it's awful you can see the glue where they've glued it on the scratches on the poltergeist machine um the light from uh the led here it's scratched to fuck everything just is scratched and that's really quite bad that the fact that they've turned this on and feel that this is acceptable it's quite poor i'm definitely going to show you some close-ups while i'm doing this because it's it really is quite poor i knew it was going to be bad but because i haven't received a statue in quite some time but this is this is unacceptable it's re it really is quite unacceptable if i mean from the front like that it looks fantastic and brilliant but if as soon as you come to the back it just looks shit it looks very poor it looks like something you can tell that alex has just said to his team oh if it looks acceptable just pass it in qc if it looks all right and you can't really tell just fuck it just pass it because we can't afford to just keep making them like they have been doing um so yeah that's really poor really quite not i'm not i am gonna keep it because 
I'm on the verge of being blacklisted anyway, and I want my Mario statue, and I want my true form Midna. So, I am going to message them and see what they say, because it is quite unacceptable. But, it's really not fair that customers are being treated like this, and I know they're just going to laugh in my face and say, well, fuck it, uh, just glue it back together and have some $20 store credit as a token of our appreciation. Meanwhile... So, it's just not even worth my time, but I am going to try anyway, because this is just unacceptable and I want to turn it off which is a real big shame because when you look at it in the light it's a, a, only the collar is bothering me but I can't see that from the front so I would accept that but from the back it just looks shit and the and the LED effect is what's meant to make it good and exclusive it's meant to make it worth the price I didn't pay an extra 60 80 100 dollars for a fucking pretty box, I wanted the LEDs and Polter Pop, and quite frankly, now I wish I hadn't have bothered, and this is one of my favourite games of all time, and this is just ruining my experience, and for first for figures to keep on continuously doing this after they keep saying, oh, we're sorry, we're going to fix this, we're going to fix that, we're going to fix that, it's unacceptable, and it's really, really bothering me. Anyway, let's, um, let's go now and do my uh so guys my final verdict is is quite frankly this statue could have been the best statue i've got ever this could have been the best i mean i know it's only very small but this qu quite frankly could have been easily the best it's easily one of my favorite games of all time luigi's match one two and three third one is fantastic and it really could have been my favourite game of all time. And quite frankly, uh, the the way First for Figure have represented this is okay. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. Um, is this the best statue I've ever had? No. It could have been, though. The pose is, is brilliant. The pose is perfect. Polter Pop is lovely. His face is lovely. The, the the base choice is spot on. Really could not have asked for a better base type. It is basic, but it's so basic that it makes the rest of the figure look so brilliant. And they're very clever at doing that first for figures. Uh, the base choice is really good. The battery life on this thing's ridiculous. I plugged it in for literally about 30 seconds and it's still fully charged. Um, so the, the battery's fantastic. Uh, the only things the gripes is the black on the back of Polter Pop. I still don't know what it is. The chip on Luigi's hat. The the, the Poltergeist 3000 looks like it's uh, on the inside where the goo is. It just looks like it's been glued together and the glue hasn't dried properly and it's just there. The Oh my god, the scratches on the back of the Poltergeist are are a disaster they're so bad so that just takes this from a 9 or a 10 down to the scratches down to an 8 the chip down to a 7 the black on the back of polter pop down to a 6 and i haven't even looked at this for that long the collar isn't straight it's like bumpy it's like that almost it's like like the paint goes wonky uh Yes, these are all small things, but these are all small things that will knock down uh, the, the the value and uh, the likeness of the statue. It makes It just makes it unrealistic. And for such a basic, big, bright PVC, these are such minute things that should have been and could have been right. The fact, if this left QC like this, they all need their eyes testing because... How I don't know I don't I can't fathom in my brain how you could let something pass with a chip unless Alex because he Alex backed off and said I'm going to go and talk to my QC because these are unacceptable and I feel like he just gone and said to him look guys we can't afford to keep shipping out these breakages so 
uh, just make sure they aren't too minor, but fuck it, we'll just offer them some store credit instead of keep shipping out these replacements. Because it's obviously going to be costing them money to replace all these shit statues. Bowser had the problems. The Praise the Sun had the problems. Kirby had problems. And these are just from the top of my head. I'm not even thinking. If I think about it, I could probably think of more. What else? Oh, that fucking Japanese wolf had the problems as well. I just can't remember the bloody fucking name. But these are all... My point is, is these are all statues coming back with problems. And I don't understand as a company how he can keep shipping out replacements. He needs influx. And this has problems. And I am going to message... Uh, CS customer service and say look that this does have a chip these are this this is a glue stain and these are paint problems and this is a paint splodge what are you gonna do and I guarantee they'll only offer me store credit because it's all they can afford to do and that is gonna bump down my pro my, my overall um, my overall score of the statue so like I said, this could have easily been a 10. This, the pose is a 10. The base is a 10. The concept is a 10. The box could, is probably a 10 as well. There's nothing wrong with either of these. And the statue, just the four or five problems I found within the space of 30 seconds, bumps it straight down. So my final verdict, guys, is this is a really good statue and had the potential to be a fantastic statue. But it is, I'm afraid, going to be a... This is going to be, be a 6.5 out of 10. This could I could push it to a 7, but it would be a low 7. And I just it just doesn't feel like it deserves a 7. The scratches on the back are so bad. It would be lower if it was on the front. But because they're on the back, they're acceptable. Um, if you can find this at game... GameStop, um, Hot Topic, I, I don't know, whatever you can find over there in America. If you can find this statue in there instead, where you won't have the, the customer service problems, and uh, it's going to obviously be cheaper because you won't have to pay for shipping. If you can find that over there for cheaper, or in the UK, like at Forbidden Planet in game, or other retailers, please do get by this, because it is a really good statue. As it stands, it's 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 above average. It's not excellent. It's just oh, just over average. It's a it's a good statue, and it could have been a fantastically perfect statue. It's just a shame how first for figures have taken this down down slide and can't seem to recover from it. Anyway, guys, please in the comment sections before you start threatening to kill my family and come and stab my gorgeous sausage dog please don't uh, allow me to put you off buying this statue please if you're a first figure fanboy christ almighty the amount of people i've had threaten me please don't this is again it's an opinion and i really really um lately on my first figures video i've been receiving some heavy dislikes please don't do that because at the end of the day i'm trying to help you I really, really want you guys to have the best for your money. And this is not the best for your money. I'm being honest. I don't want to waste your money. I don't want to waste your time. That's what these are for. I am in place to stop you from doing that. Uh, if you're happy with half our statues that are just going to have a few paint splodges here and there, this is perfect. Go and buy it. If you're an absolute collector that wants perfection like myself and you want absolutely perfection and every paint splodge to be well just not to be a single doubt drop of paint and you want everything to be in the right place and you don't want to scratch on it this is not going to be for you do not buy this if you're not bothered buy this it's not a problem if you if you are gonna if you if you want a, a, a an average acceptable statue buy this this is this is great if you don't if you want perfection don't buy this it's as simple as that but please don't go bashing my, my videos just for an opinion at the end of the day. It's all for fun, guys. We're all one big happy family. And at the end of the day, I'm just trying to be honest for you guys. But anyway, this has been a very lengthy video. I do apologize, but you know me, guys. 
Uh, is this worth your money? Probably not, unless as just just, just described. Please go 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 and check out if you're a big 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 first for figures fan. Please go and check out my other reviews. Also, please consider checking out my why I will not buy from first for figures anymore, and uh, telling CS to glue statues. Please go and check those two videos out because. They're really lengthy and very, very detailed as to why I will not buy them anymore. And uh, I've just kind of explained as to why I won't buy them anymore. This is my third to last statue. I've got two more to come, guys. True Form Midna, Mario and Yoshi, which I will be reviewing both. So please do subscribe for those. I do statue unboxings every time I have a statue, of course. And I have some absolute crackers on the way. I have Desert Bandit Yamcha on the way from the original Dragon Ball. That is going to be wicked. And I'm going to go and have a look at getting some Skyrim statues. And possibly some Fallout as well from Gaming Heads. So please do stick around. Subscribe if you are new. Please do comment your thoughts on this statue. First for figures as a whole. And if you disagree with me, please tell me as to why you disagree with me in the comment section. And yeah... Thank you very, very, very much for watching, guys, this very lengthy review, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. See you later, guys.